Okay, guys. We got a delivery coming from downstairs at the lobby in the community that we live in. So the dog's going to be barking momentarily, so I apologize for that. But I wanted to go ahead and do this video and get it over with. So when he starts raising cane, again, I apologize. I'm just going to continue. Uh, wanted to talk to you guys about amateur judging and boxing in the United States. Let's talk about it. Two words can sum it up uh, very quickly. It sucks. It's awful. It's no good with three words. Um, I'm going to talk about some reasons why I believe that the amateur judging has changed over the years. For the worse, obviously, like almost everything else um, and I'm going to talk about some solutions and the solutions don't seem to really fall on this generation very well at all it seems like the solutions are well I can't do this because this will be the result we got to get past that mode of thinking now re why am I back on this harping on this I'm back on it harping on it because Kirk Williams uh, he's his channel should be down at the bottom of our front page as a preferred channel um, you should be able to link on and watch the uh, fight uh, where he had an amateur fight uh, in the Florida Golden Gloves, I, I believe it was yesterday or the day before, and I, I watched the fight, and Kirk won that fight. Uh, it's two guys that we watch closely. One of them's Kirk Williams, and you all know the other one is Zeke Castro. The good amateur guys. Uh, young fellas uh, they got good hearts they work hard and we just love them to pieces and that, and so hence we watch every single thing they do and will continue to do so Kirk was kind of on his last hooray here but I don't really think it's going to be his last his, his finishing point uh Kirk was at the Golden Gloves in South Florida where they were having it. I, I assume, and maybe he told me, and I just don't remember. Maybe it was in Miami. I believe it was in Miami. And uh, he had a, it was in the uh, semifinals or quarterfinals. And uh, uh, so he was progressing. Uh, if my understanding is correct with that, but I watched the fight, in the, it, and he was in the Florida State Golden Gloves. And the reason why I said it was kind of his last hurrah is because he's going off to flight school. And he's possibly there's the dog barking. I told you was going to happen. He's uh, he'll probably be an airline pilot for American Airlines or. Continental or one of these guys uh, eventually uh, and he got accepted and that's a difficult thing to do he's a smart young man uh, at any rate I watched his fight uh, the first round I believe that he, he just edged it out uh, so I gave him all three rounds. Um, the second round, he definitely won. And the third round, he definitely won. I don't know how subjective uh, things get to be nowadays. Uh, you got a winner and you got a loser. Now, back in my day, there would be uh, some bad decisions going. They weren't... And... and 
sometimes they'd they'd be in the amateurs and the professional ranks. You know, you've always had bad judging before. But the amateur judging is consistently bad in the United States. Um, the flavor of that fight with Kurt Williams and, the, and that other boy in the far, Florida Golden Gloves was uh, the other kid starts grabbing and just squeezing the crap out of uh, Kirk and uh, Kirk's getting a little tired of it and he swings back one way he doesn't intentionally try to throw the kid down or nothing but the kid goes around maybe the kid even went down because he Kirk was trying to jerk away so he's jerking if somebody's holding you you're going to jerk to one side or the other and he jerked to the side uh, the referee, which wasn't doing a good job uh, throughout, in my opinion, uh, it's, it's not that you don't want to be offensive towards a person. That, that's got to be laid to rest. You, the right thing needs to be done in boxing. Uh, bad call on the football field. Uh, you got a whole team that's absorbing that. Uh, you you got games and games and games to continue with it. Uh, if you're boxing, it's just you, right? It's you that gets the heartbreak. It is you uh, that gets the devastation of bad things. So there needs to be a lot more care taking in boxing in general not just the amateurs um, anyway uh, the referee took it upon himself to start yelling at Kirk and Kirk being the nice guy he is was telling me that well hey the re you know the ref got on to the other guy about uh, holding me but he did that later see and what happens is uh, when he the kid at the beginning just grasping and holding him. Uh, when Kirk tries to get out of it, uh, and he's volatile in trying to get out of being held, which you should be, that's boxing. Uh, anyway, the referee jumps all over him and doesn't say anything to the other guy till later on. And what happens is there's a psychological thing that goes on because when you're a boxer and you get in the ring you're looking at that authority and it just sets the tone right off the bat and it was just one of the worst uh, calls I've seen and I've, I've seen some doozies with both Kirk and with uh, Zeke uh, repeatedly I've sat there and now look guys I'm not the all-knowing expert. I'm not the guy that knows everything. I'm no wizard of boxing. But I've, I've been in and out of the sport for over 50 years. And I know what I see. And I tell the younger generations this daily. I know what I see. Now, let's talk about how to stop it. Here's the only way it's going to stop. Uh, I'm at Boxing Gym X, or I have Boxing Gym X. It's my guys, my gym. We go to an event over here. We go to the Golden Gloves over here. We go to Olympic qualifiers over here. Makes no mind. I, as the trainer coach of these kids, have to be in the mindset of what's going on with the one fighter at that moment. I can't think in tomorrow. Uh, I can't think in you know an hour from now when my next guy comes up. None of that. Uh, if you see something bad, you got to voice it. And you got to be boisterous. Um, you just got to do it. And uh, you can't think about the next guy coming up. Now, for for those of you who don't hang around me and aren't a partaker in my daily life, uh, 
I'm very, very principled, and uh, very principled, and uh, I will command the area around me at all times, at all times. I don't give a damn if it's the governors come in. You know, I'm commanding the area around me and mine. And that's just the way it goes. And I'll continue to do so. Uh, and, uh, of course, sometimes I get stopped. Sometimes this happens, sometimes that. But I'm telling you, I always command the area around me. And what this tends to do, it tends to, in this weaker generation, if you're under 50, it, it, it tends to intimidate you greatly. And I, I never flex that until I see something wrong. Until I see something go wrong. So I believe as trainers, coaches, uh, people that own gyms and have stables of uh, guys and or gals, uh, you, we got to be more boisterous in this. Now, what is a result of all this bad stuff? Here's a result. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and about guarantee you this. The U.S. boxing team, I will be shocked if we get one gold medal, and I don't think that we will. Uh, I'm wagering to think that we may get one silver and one or two bronzes if we even get any medals at all, we may walk away from France in the Olympics and not win a medal. And that's unheard of. This crap's getting out of hand. Now, why? Well, a, a lot of you that watch my channels, uh, all my stuff, you know I reamed Boxing USA about the transgender liberal crap. I'll continue to do so. Joe's not going to partake in anything to do with Boxing USA unless that is corrected. Well, what do you get? We don't need them. See? Uh, you, you build another road. All these people everybody thinks that you have to have, you don't have to have. Uh... And maybe I'll put a video out on that, how to make your own road and bulldoze your own way. Uh, uh, cooking classes. You know, I, 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 I looked and I'm online and I went to this thing in, uh, uh, it, it was in Colorado or New Mexico, it's been 40 years ago. And uh, they sit and they make these rules. And I'm looking around. I'm like, this is the biggest crock of crap I've ever been to, been to in my life. And they would have paid a lot of money to go there. Uh, so it's not about nothing. These people aren't very intelligent. They're not very experienced in boxing. And that's a huge problem. Uh, so you, the transgender thing. I get on there, I see that they're, they got 10 videos out and baking chocolate chip cookies and cakes and I'm like, what the world? And you got a girl up there, <laughs> I can make a sponge cake and then you got a guy up there, I like my chocolate chip cookies and, I, and they're two of the boxers in the program that's more than likely going to be representing the country. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what in the hell is this about? Uh, so you you got factors like that, and then you got the terrible judging all across the United States that the people have been, that have been elevated up to alternates uh, and. Uh, official fighters for our Olympic team, they're not the winners. So we end up going to the Olympics and look what happens. And need I remind everybody at the Olympics in Seoul, Korea, 
uh, you're up against bad. You, uh, that's the poster child of bad judging. Uh, Roy Jones Jr. almost killed this Korean in the ring. He just beat him from start to finish. And the judges give it to the Korean because the Olympics are in Korea. So you, there's a plethora of things that are going on all at one time and nobody's looking. And when you start bashing the dreams of the strongest and the creme de la creme of the generation coming up, which these boxers are, uh, many of them are. They're the most dedicated athletes that the, the country has. Uh, and you go to crushing those people, and you go to elevating and pushing on through. Uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I, I don't care. Uh, homosexuals, queers, whatever. Uh, the other guy over here, because he was shorter, or he was smaller, or he's this race, or he's that race. And uh, you can't win like that. You, you've got to give the right decisions. You got to uh, put the right people forward and get the right people on the team. And we can't do that in the United States no more. We're lost. We're lost. And that's why we suck at boxing on the whole. Uh, we used to be the greatest country on earth uh, with concerns to anything related with boxing. We're just terrible now. We're just terrible. We are. And that's the truth. So, uh, you know, I had a problem at the grocery store here today. And I was like, you know, I go up there. They got a fast food place in there, and I wanted a hot dog. So, I'm, I'm hey, do you want a hot dog? Yeah, I can make you a hot dog. And just but turn around and walk off. Ask what you need. Nothing. I was like, what the hell? And uh, spent a lot of money in that store. And, well, you can't piss them off too bad. And I'm like, yeah, I can. Well, where are you going to go? I'll go 20 miles down the damn street. And that's where I'll choose to uh, spend my money and give my patronage. You know, I'm not doing it there. You'll do that? And I'm like, oh, yeah. I won't bat an eye at it. What do you think twice at it? And that's what's been lost. Well, I might not say nothing, or I'm, you know, I might be way low keyed in how I really feel, uh, because they'll come back to hurt me. And uh, that's simply the reason for the failure in the societies across the the, the world today is that mode of thinking, and we can't think like that. And we certainly can't think like that as Christians. Uh, you can't go with your, uh, well, this guy over here's my friend. Well, that guy over there may lead you straight to hell. You know. So we just got to wake up a little bit, uh, push forward, right's right, wrong's wrong, and go with that. And uh, start calling these people out. Uh, makes no difference if they're just ignorant. Uh, they don't. They need to be called out. Uh, they need to be nervous when you, when you come up next as a trainer or gym owner. When you, I guarantee you, had I been there, had I had a guy or two there, uh, uh, they all would have been ner Everybody would have been nervous around me. Everybody. That's the way the world works with me. I, I make people nervous. Uh, can I get beat up? Can I get shot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But what's going to happen is, if there's bad things happening around me, uh, through ignorance, through intentional badness or whatever, and it's with concerns to anybody that's got anything to do with me, they're all going to be nervous. Willing to take that risk. It's just simple as that. Somebody shoots me. Uh, worst I get is I go to heaven. Uh, not a bad trade-off. But I'm going to stand up. 
uh, sometimes I may do it in the wrong way, and the good Lord knows I got a lot of work to do on myself and who I am. However, uh, I ain't scared like the normal guy. I don't get I don't get shaken like the normal guy. Uh, we had a light. I mean, a lightning bolt hit a tree right across the street from the gym, and we had the the windows open and all, and I about jumped out of my skin. It scared me something awful. So, of course I get scared, but I'm going to stand up and do what I think's right. Uh, almost every single time. Maybe not every time, but uh, when it comes to the boxing and things like that, we're going to stand up. So, uh, we don't need Boxing USA. Uh, the Colombian national team is now asking Joe at 15, can you come? Can you come? And he's not wanting to do that uh, uh, out of fear, out of this, out of that. No. Out, out of uh, that he, he, he doesn't want you all to think, well, he's representing Colombia and he's not representing America. And he, and he don't want nobody looking back and ever saying that to him. So he's just right, steady, denying everything across the board down here. And a uh, sad thing because, uh, you know, he's going in. We're getting bad decisions. Everybody's ganging up on him. And he's winning, winning. Uh, then I tell him... Uh, uh, we have some bad stuff, and I tell him, don't play this game no more. Don't go in there. Go in there to break a jaw. Uh, and once they see a tooth come out or a, bro a severely broke nose, then they're like, no, we don't want Joe around. He's too uh, uh, dangerous, uh, what they call violent for this sport. And he's just boxing, see. So you can make your own roads. You don't need these people. Uh, and now they're the same ones that, oh, you're too violent and want to talk about brain damage before because they don't want you in the league because uh, you make the trainers look bad. Uh, see, I've, we've dealt with it all down here, dealt with it all, every type of scenario. And I, over the years, have dealt with so many different things that we've just dealt with it all. And, uh, but you see, in the end, they come calling, see. So there's a plethora of ways of making your own road. And uh, for you trainers out there, make your own road. Uh, for you boxers out there, make your own road. And uh, just remember, try to do that. Don't play along with, a bad, with bad things. Uh, the, the money's not worth it. Trust me on that. It's not worth it. Uh, your very soul is worth every penny of every resource on this earth. Trust me on that. So you want to protect that. All right. Much love to you guys. I know I rambled on. Uh, Kirk, if you see this, we love you. You won that fight. Mad respect to you. And uh, to everybody else, much love to you. And uh, we hope everybody has a good remainder of the week. Joe's been uh, clicking like a fine-tuned timepiece right now. Uh, so we've been lucky. You know, we had a lot of sickness. And uh, Joe had an ankle injury and stuff. But, you know, as... As an athlete, you got bad and you got the good, so you have to take the advantage of the good times that you have. And boy, he's just clicking like a great timepiece right now. So we're very lucky with that. Uh, and he's taking advantage uh, of the good times he has. So that's what you have to do. So much love to y'all, and we'll talk to you soon.